Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Um, we've got a really, really, really exciting uh, development to let you know about today. And um, so, with no further ado, let me introduce you to the Gordon Smith, I'm going to call this Gordon Smith Classic T HBS Custom. So, what we basically have now is a Classic T um, with. Um, predominantly an ash body um, with humbucker uh, neck pickup, single coil and the semi-hollow. Um, so we get this kind of like a uh, different texture tone that comes from having a sort of a semi-hollow uh, element to it on this side here. Um, it's just, it, it's so exciting because it's just, things are just progressing all the time with Gordon Smith and, and what they're able to produce me. and. To see this one is just gobsmacking, so I'm really excited. Um, I've had to play around with it, and um, there's, there's a couple of things that I um, I want to make you aware of. It's quite interesting because it just shows you how you can kind of um, a bit of an insight into how you can get different tones from guitars. Because the neck pickup on this guitar uh, has come through. Um, I've asked for it. I'll, I'll talk about it in a minute. The neck, the neck on it. Um, but again, just to give you an idea about customization and how things. Because I, well, let me start with the neck. The neck, I've asked for it to be a little bit thicker. So I've got a classic T out the back that's just going out, which has got what I call mainstream C shape um, neck for a Fender style, you know, guitar that you know historically they're associated with. Um, so um, the the neck can be kind of slim. Now this is just a little bit thicker, and I and I, I asked them just to make it a little bit thicker because I like to um, have a guitar with a, just just a, you know just, really, just feel it in your hand. You don't want to be super thin, um, so it just feels absolutely beautiful. Um, <laughs> just beautiful and everything about what they're doing is just gorgeous so that's that um, but I was going to say about the pickup alignment so for example or the setting so when you have um, if you look at that you'll see the the single coil at the back this is kind of how you to a degree this is what you'd expect um, the single coil is is the back pickup tends to be closer to the strings that's kind of normal for an electric guitar. You tend to want the, the more output from the back pickup. And actually, this does give you that. So if I... Um, plenty of spank from the old uh, classic T sound. So that's your kind of classic kind of T uh, tone. Now, if we hear the, the, the neck though, when we go from the neck, it's kind of there, but it, I just want it to be a bit fuller um, for me personally, and I would just wind that up a bit just to get a bit more. And I'm sure the technician was um, setting this up for someone, that's kind of what I think they'd want, so I'd probably ask him to bring that up a couple of windings so we get more fuller tone. So it's sort of worth mentioning that. Um, everything about it is just utterly beautiful. So we've got the old sort of tobacco, uh, I suppose you call it possibly a two-tone sunburst. Um, they've made it absolutely perfectly for what I asked them. And um, the thing to look out for, if you see, if you look at this, look at the, um, this is a really important sign. If you look at the, 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 the distance between the, the scratch plate and the, uh, the, 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 the um, single, you know, the bridge plate, the, the pickup plate, okay? Or if you want to call it the bridge plate, yeah, bridge plate. This whole set area here, um, you'll see it's completely um, uh, what's the word? Parallel, perfectly parallel. Now, what what guitar manufacturers are doing, and I'm not going to mention names because obviously, if you watch my other videos, and you'll see what I've been frustration I've been going through. This, this here, this scratch plate and this plate are very often misaligned. Okay. And if you see a misaligned or, or n not a perfectly parallel gap there, what that means is, is what they're doing is they're using this screw. They're screwing in the, the plate here 
and then they're kind of swizzling this around to get the string alignment um, so that everything works rather than putting the neck in in the right angle. So if you see guitars and there's a big discrepancy between the distance here and the distance here, that basically means that the, the, not, if the, the, the geometry is wrong with the guitar. Um, the, the geometry is just out and um, you might lead you to intonation problems but also um, the problems I've experienced are string alignment problems, so that the, the bass string and the treble, so one might be sort of hanging off the edge and the other one's got loads of room up here. Um, so you tend to find those are the results. But uh, back to the classic T. Thank you to Gordon Smith for producing me my first ever, uh, this is my first ever, what I'm going to call HBS custom, um, classic T. And as I say, it can be produced in absolutely any colour. This is what I absolutely love. I've got different orders coming through from different people. We just chat about what suits them. So there's no restriction on anything. You just, just you, the world is your oyster. Neck thickness, thin, thin or thicker. If you want no scratch play, what a, you know, it's just why be restricted by mass production when you can support a British manufacturer walk into their own place and chat to them if you want to, go and see them, work off, oh, don't tell her, I didn't say that, but by appointment it can happen, um, they are good guys, but they clearly can't have their whole workshop dominated by people browsing around their workshop, but in theory it's what you could do, um, so there we go, yeah, um, neck pick up, back pick up, Thank you very much, Gordon Smith, and thank you for watching, and speak to you soon. That's another Gordon Smith uh, development for you there, as it happens. Bye.